Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be bringing you guys the 4 best methods to unlocking the Dark Aether camo for Vanguard Zombies. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Most of you guys probably know what is required in order to unlock camos within Zombies. The problem most players run into is the fact that you need a load of eliminations. Also, leveling up your guns can be pretty time consuming, but you shouldn't have an issue with that if you follow these methods. Let's get into the first method. The first method I want to share with you guys is the spawn room strategy. This is a really simple one for those of you who aren't sure how it works. Basically, the zombies will randomly spawn when you wander around the main spawn area. They'll endlessly spawn, but it can be a relatively slow process. I would recommend trying to use this strategy on rounds 4 or above. Usually, you'll get a good amount of zombies to spawn and you also have a large portion of the spawn open. Keep in mind however, this is the slowest method I have on this list. But if you're a patient person, then you can definitely give this a try. Alright, so heading on to our second method, you'll need to do the transmit objective. You guys might have heard about this, but if you haven't, you're going to want to go through the whole objective as usual. Until you reach the end, right before you complete the transmit, you'll need to get away from the orb. After that, find a spot on the map in which you are able to camp and view all the zombies. Once there, you'll be able to get endless amount of kills, salvage, and ammo. This strategy works really well on rounds 3 and above. The higher the rounds, the more amount of zombies will spawn, but it will also become more difficult. I like this strategy and it can work effectively when you find the right spot. Now let's move on to the third method. Our third method is similar to the previous one. You're going to need to activate the harvest objective. This is probably the most effective method on this list if I'm being honest. So you're going to want to play through the objectives normally, feed both of the sin eaters, but you are not going to fill the final one. With the final sin eater not being filled, you can continuously kill the never ending zombies that spawn in. The zombies will also drop salvage and ammo. The ammo will allow you to continue killing zombies. This method is by far my favorite one to use. I find it to be the easiest for leveling up my guns while also getting eliminations. Now finally, let's get into our last method on this list. Our final method for this video is to play with other players. Now you guys might be a little underwhelmed by this, but hear me out. The more players you have, the more zombies will spawn, especially if you try one of the three previous methods. The Sin Eater is probably the best method to use when you have multiple people in your game. You guys can each split up and find a certain area where you can kill the zombies. But yeah, that's my final method I have for you guys. So to sum everything up, method one is the spawn room strategy. Method two is the transmit strategy. Method three is the harvest strategy. And method four is just playing with other people. Hopefully this can help you guys complete your camo challenges and earn them faster. So far these are the only methods that I have really had success with. Anyways, if you guys found this video useful, then consider subscribing. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.